So, all right, good evening and welcome to our October 15th Hanson Select Board meeting. This meeting is being recorded by Whitman Hanson Community Access Television. Please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we have an extremely abbreviated agenda this evening. Um, and um, so, but before we get into our agenda, um, uh, Mr. Hill, may I prevail upon you to read the public announcements? Yes, we are looking for citizens at large to become members of the following committees, bylaw committee, cable and internet committee, cultural council, economic development committee, energy committee, historical commission, Recreation Commission, Memorial Day and Patriotic Observance Committee, and the Zoning Board of Appeals. Volunteer applications may be found at the town website, www.hanson-mass.gov, or by calling the select board's office at 781-293-2131. The presidential election will be held on November 5th, 2024, at the Hanson Middle School from 7 a.m. until 8 o'clock p.m. Early voting hours will be held at Hanson Town Hall as follows. The week of Saturday, October 19th, Saturday, October 19th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., Monday, October 21st from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., Tuesday, October 22nd from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., Wednesday, October 23rd from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., Thursday, October 24th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., Friday, October 25th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., Saturday, October 26th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., and the following week, Monday, October 28th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Tuesday, October 29th from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Wednesday, October 30th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Thursday, October 31st from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Friday, November 1st from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. There will be a voter registration session held Saturday, October 26th, 2024, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Town Hall. This will be the last day to register to vote for the November 5th state presidential election. Any citizen may register to vote at the Town Clerk's Office during regular business hours, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Tuesday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Mail-in registration are online at www.rec.state.mass.us. Any resident citizen who will be 18 years of age by November 5th, 2024, is eligible to, eligible to register to vote by October 26, 2024. The Hanson PTO is sponsoring a Monster Mash uh, dance party for the children of Indian Head Elementary School. It will be held on Friday, October 25th from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Upcoming select board meetings, October 29th, 2024. November 12th, 2024, and November 19th, 2024. And uh, just one other announcement that I did, I thought that um, we were going to get from the folks on the Hanson Holiday uh, Festival Committee. Um, there's a huge um, uh, truck or treat um, this Saturday. I just can't remember what time. I want to say it starts at 10 a.m. Um, and it's going to be over at McQuan. And all of the proceeds for that will go to fund the uh, fireworks for our Hanson Holiday Festival. So just thought I would mention that. Um, okay. Um, first up, we have the sign the presidential election warrant. And um, you're going to get a lot of, um, are you going to get a workout tonight, Mr. Heal? Oh because um, this is... Um, kind of akin to some of the deeds that we've had to read. It's quite lengthy. Um, so, uh, but wait a minute. Is this, let me just make sure. Um, is, this the, is this the warrant he needs to read? The one that says William Galvin? Because it looks to me like it's the state. Um, yeah, this has got question three, question two, question four, question five. Is there, okay. Does that have to read though? I don't think does he have to read all of them. We we usually do. Okay. Is that all the questions? Okay. So to to Mr. Heal's um, point, does that have all of the ballot questions too? Yes. Okay. So because it's one. Okay. No, just the circle thing. Yep. Okay. 
Stop here? Yep. Commonwealth of Massachusetts, William Francis Galvin, Secretary of the Commonwealth. To either of the constables of the town of Hanson, greetings. In the name of the Commonwealth, you are hereby required to notify and warn the inhabitants of said city or town who are qualified to vote in the, elect in the elections to vote at Precinct 1, Precinct 2, Precinct 3 at the Hanson Middle School on Tuesday, the fifth day of November, 2024, from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. for the following purpose to cast their votes in the state election for the candidates for the following offices. Electors of President and Vice President for these United States, Senator in Congress for the Commonwealth, Representative in Congress for the 9th District, Counselor for the 2nd District, Senator in General Court for the 2nd Plymouth and Norfolk District, Representative in General Court for the 5th Plymouth District, Representative in General Court for the 6th Plymouth District, Clerk of Courts for Plymouth County, Register of Deeds for Plymouth District, and County Commissioner for Plymouth County. Question one, the law proposed by an initiative petition. Do you approve of the law summarized below on which no vote was taken by the Senate or the House of Representatives before May 1st, 2024? And here's a summary. The purpose, the proposed law would specify that the state auditor has the authority to audit the legislator, legislature. A yes vote would specify that the state auditor has the authority to audit the legislature. A no vote would make no change in the law relative to the state auditor's authority. Question two, law proposed by initiative petition. Do you approve of a law summarized below on which no vote was taken by the Senate or the House of Representatives between May 1st, 2024. A summary. The proposed law would eliminate the requirement that a student pass the Massachusetts Comprehensive Assessment System, MCAS test, or other state or district-wide assessments in mathematics, science, and technology and English in order to receive a high school diploma. Instead, in order for a student to receive a high school diploma, the proposed law would require that the student to complete coursework certified by the student's district as demonstrating mastery of the competencies contained in the state academic standards in mathematics, science, and technology and English, as well as any additional areas determined by the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education. A yes vote would eliminate the requirement that students pass the Massachusetts Comprehensive Assessment System, MCAS, in order to graduate high school, but still require students to complete coursework that meets student state standards. A no vote would make no change in the law relative to, re to the requirement that the student pass the MCAS in order to graduate high school. And Mr. Hill, pardon me for one moment. Um, Ms. Federoff, um, is it um, appropriate for us to skip over the extremely lengthy summaries um, and just vote the question and, and mention the questions and refer people to that the information is on the state website. Yes, you're okay. To okay. All right. I just wanted because I, I was looking at this summary. next summary and I was like, this is <laughs> going to be a whopper. Ed. I, okay. okay. And I All thank right. you for your okay. timeliness. All right. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> yeah. um, so just read the question three is a law yep. proposed by initiative petition. Um, and then I vote what a yes and vote No, and then you do you read the question and then what the yes and no vote, that's it. So skip over the, this section. Read this. That, that one is just, do you approve the law summarized below on which a no vote was taken by the Senate or House on the, of Representatives or a no vote yeah. on May 1st? Yeah, right. On the so I think I just need to do, right, do what a no vote and a yes vote. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yep. A yes vote would provide transportation network drivers the option to form unions to collectively bargain with transportation network companies regarding wages, benefits, and terms of conditions of work. A no vote would make no change to the law relative to the ability of transportation network drivers to form unions. Question four is a law proposed by initiative petition. A yes vote would allow persons over, 20, over age 21 to use certain natural psychedelic substances under licensed supervision and to grow and possess limited quantities of these substances in their home 
and would create a commission to regulate those substances. A no vote would make no change to the law regarding natural psychedelic substances. Question five, a law proposed by initiative petition. A yes vote would increase the minimum hourly wage an employee must pay, an employer must pay a tipped worker to the full state minimum wage implemented over five years, at which point employees could pool all tips and distribute them among all non-management workers. A no vote would make no change to the law governing tip pooling or maximum minimum wage for tip workers. Hereof fail not to make return of this warrant with your doings there, thereon at the time and place of said voting. What? <laughs> it's very strange, but that is what's worth what it says. Um, so I will entertain a motion to approve and sign the presidential election so, warrant. Second. Any further discussion? Yes, sir. Okay, all in favor? <clears throat> Um, so is this the actual, okay. And then um, that brings us to the second item um, and the last item in our open agenda, um, which is approved fund transfer for Hanson Food Pantry repairs. Ms. Green. Uh, yes, so the food pantry had unfortunately um, experienced a uh, water leak that did some damage to um, some areas of the food pantry. Um, Basically, we needed to have a company come in to uh, mitigate any further damage. And they brought in um, dehumidifiers and dryers to dry all the water up. Um, the cost of that was, was about $19,000. Um, in our municipal buildings maintenance and repair line, there's only $20,000 in that. So paying this company would have depleted that line completely. Um, so asking for the reserve fund transfer, which the Finance Committee did vote to um, approve on October 7th, 2024, um, we are using a reserve fund transfer of 20000 to replenish that fund. So we, do have fund. so we do have funds throughout the rest of the fiscal year for municipal property um, maintenance and repairs. And um, is it true that there's ARPA money that's going to be... The application is at the level three review process right now. So it's successfully passed level one, level, level two, it's now at level three. So I am hoping that to hear some very good news on that, um, on that funding very shortly. Okay. Um, I will entertain a motion to approve the reserve fund transfer um, to cover the Hanson Food Pantry repairs. So second. Um, I'm recusing myself um, because I'm on the Hanson Food Pantry Board. Um, all in favor? Aye. Okay. All right. Uh, that will bring us to um, executive session. Um, I will entertain a motion to enter into executive session pursuant to Open Meeting Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A1, to discuss the reputation, character, physical condition, or mental health rather than the professional competence of an individual or discuss the discipline or dismissal of or complaints or charges against a public officer, employee, staff member, or individual enforcement discussions. Executive session pursuant to open meeting law chapter 30A, section 21A3, to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigating position of the public body and the chair so declares litigation discussions. And executive session pursuant to open meeting law chapter 30A, section 21A7 to review and approve executive session minutes not to be released September 17th, 2024, September 24th, 2024. I will entertain a motion to enter executive session. We will not be returning to open session. So moved. Second. Roll call. Aye. 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 Okay, thank you, Rob.